Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to do a first impression on the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I have been meaning to buy this for the longest time and I finally bit the bullet and just bought it last week. It's very expensive. I think in Australia it's $67 I believe and I have never been a fan of stick foundations so I am nervous to try it I guess. I just hope it wasn't a waste of money but we will see. So I got the shade Linen, which is like a nice yellowy toned, but still quite pale. I always like to go a little bit paler with my foundations because I can always add bronzer, add a darker powder. You know, there are things you can do to make it match your skin. So I do tend to go a bit lighter when I get foundations, but yeah. So I'm going to just jump in and prime my skin using the NYX. Angel Veil Primer. I already know that I do like this primer, so I wanted to use one that I know works and I know that I like. So my skin type is pretty normal. I do get dry patches and I do get oily throughout the day on warmer days, just like through my T-zone. My nose is a bit dry at the moment and kind of like around my nose and my chin is a bit dry as well. So We'll see if it clings to those patches, but let's just go ahead and give it a whirl. It's very like creamy to apply. So I'm going to do half of my face with the Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki and half with my Beauty Blender and just see which side I prefer. So I'm going to do the right side with my Beauty Blender. And it is damp, obviously. So it already blends like really nicely, a lot creamier than I was kind of expecting. For some reason, I always just expect stick foundations to be really dry. I don't know, I've never tried one that I've loved, but I've heard so many good things about this one. So I just wanted to try it out for myself. It looks like almost airbrushed. Beauty Blender didn't really soak up any of the product I don't feel like either, but I am gonna try out with the brush. I feel like it's a lot more patchy with the brush and like it's not covering as much. And I just feel like the product doesn't go as far with the brush. Like, I'm going to need to apply more. And I applied the same amount on both sides of my face. Okay, I don't like it with the brush. I don't know if it's just that brush or if this just works better with a beauty blender. But I definitely prefer the beauty, that beauty blender side. So I just applied a little bit more where it kind of like patched off. And I'm just going to use the beauty blender on this side. It's way way easier to apply with a damp sponge so it is pretty full coverage it's covered pretty much all of the redness i had on my cheeks and it's not really clinging to the dry patches but i mean we'll just see how it goes throughout the day but yeah so far i actually really really like it it's creamy it's quick and easy to blend it doesn't make a mess i don't know so far i do really really like it so I'm going to go and apply the rest of my makeup and I will come back and see how everything like laid on top of it. It's already a quarter past one. I procrastinated a lot this morning when I should have just started filming earlier, but I will still try and leave it on for the majority of the day before I wash it off at night and yeah, we'll see how it holds up. Okay, so I just finished the rest of my makeup. It is now 1.54. That took way too long. I was just like relaxing, just enjoying the therapeuticness of doing my makeup. But I will have a post on my Instagram, more than likely listing all of the products on my face now if you want to know what else I'm wearing. But everything went beautifully over the foundation. My pores are kind of like invisible and my skin just looks, yeah, really perfected. I am just really, really impressed. To be honest i didn't expect to like it as much as i do so far but in saying that it's only been on for like 45 minutes so 
I am going to just go about my day. I'm not really doing much. I haven't been very well the last few days, so I haven't really been up to doing much. But yeah, we'll just, we'll see how we go. But so far, my very first impression is that I really, really like it. And I think it's so, I don't know, it's just so creamy and buttery and blendable. And it makes your skin just look like... Ah, it's so hard to explain, but I just really, really like it. I'm actually going to zoom right on in so you guys can see my entire face and see how everything looks and how my pores are kind of just disappearing because um, I'm impressed and I want you guys to see that. So Okay, so here's my skin close up. I have turned down the lighting on my ring light just so it's more kind of accurate, more like a daylight representation. But yeah, you can see how smooth and airbrushed my skin kind of looks. I am just, I'm pretty stoked with it to be honest. So far I can't pick any faults. I mean the price is pretty expensive but that's what you get when you buy a more luxury brand foundation I guess. And if it's worth it and it looks like this all day then I am going to be happy about that. Anyway, I'm going to go and I will check in in a few hours and we will see how it's holding up and how it looks. Hey guys, so it's now 10 past 5. So I've had the foundation on for about 4 hours. I actually just woke up from a nap because I'm so tired. And there's really nothing to tell you. It still looks perfect. There's no no areas where it's coming off. My highlight and like my bronzer and blush and everything, that's still on. Um, it hasn't faded at all, not even like on my chin or anything. Honestly, I'm just super impressed. I really, really like this foundation. It's not like a typical cream, like stick foundation. Normally the ones I wear, they all go kind of oily and it's like they slide around after a while. But this one, it's not, I wouldn't call it overly matte, but it's not oily, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like a demi-matte satin type of finish. I am going to go and get ready to cook some dinner. I'm going to make a curry tonight. It's like a pumpkin and zucchini kind of curry. I don't really know what it is, but I'm going to give it a go. And then I will do a final check-in, although I really don't feel like much is going to change. I think it's going to be pretty pretty confident, happy with this foundation video. But I will come back nonetheless and just check in, make sure nothing drastic happened but I am very very impressed with this foundation. I do actually think it's worth the money for the staying power and the pigmentation, how well it blends with that beauty blender. Hey guys so it's now about 7.30 so I've had the foundation on for around around six hours ish which I feel like is the normal amount of time most people wear their makeup for. It started to break up a tiny bit around my nose um, just where it's dry, but apart from that, it all still looks pretty pretty good to me. I just had my dinner, and um, when I was cooking it, it got really warm in the kitchen, so but none of it came off. Um, I always like wipe my mouth as well, and I mean, it's kind of come off above my lip here a little bit, but not too bad. So yeah, all in all, I do actually really, really like this little guy. Um, I do think I will be reaching for it pretty often because it is so quick and just easy. Just swipe it all over your face and then blend it out with your beauty blender. It seriously took me like two minutes if that to do. I do really like this colour as well. I feel like I can make it work for when I'm pale and when I'm fake tanned. Um, maybe not like fresh fake tan, like really dark, but either way I think I can make this colour work. But they do have a pretty huge colour selection as well. so. I think anyone would be able to find their correct shade. So yeah, essentially the claims are that it was fast and easy to use, which yes, it definitely is. It covers redness and skin imperfections, definitely, and covered skin discoloration, pores, blemishes, and dark circles under the eyes. I didn't really put it under my eyes, but everything else it covered. I had a little pimple here. It covered it, covered all my redness. None of it has peeked through throughout the day, so... 
I'm very impressed with this foundation and I do kind of think that it is worth the money even though it is so pricey. So that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy first impressions on foundations. They're some of my favourite videos to watch actually so I will try and do more of them if you guys like them. I think that's all I had to say so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!